I like what you said that we keep in step with the Spirit because that is a healthy, godly practice. It's like, I'm going to step, and then I'm going to step again, Mm -hmm. and I'm going to step again, and it's all going to be in alignment with what honors God, loves people, and helps me become who ultimately I want to become and I should mm-hmm. become. And, and God is enabling me to become if I will keep in step, in alignment with the way that I should go. Yeah. So interesting. Jim, what do you have to say about this? Well, I think the idea of taking the covert and making it overt, uh, God's Word will help us with that. I A big thing I think around on the very practical level around self-deception is have a group of people, even if it's two or three, I've taught often about having a personal board of directors. That means you name six seats, three seats, however many you can, of people who will tell you the truth. And that's called doing a 360, where someone can look around you and do it periodically and say, what am I missing? Here's what I say my goals are, and I'm not reaching out to them. Or where do you see me? Sometimes a good spouse, if you're married, can help you that. Where do you see me not being my best self? Or where have I done anything in this relationship that is what we call malfeasance? We want as therapists non-malfeasance, do no harm. Where have I done anything that uh, has been harmful to you? Said something, did something. I didn't follow through on what I said I would do. And again, be curious, not furious there. But to have some people who can speak into your life, not yes men or yes women, who would say, well, thank you, and yeah, here's Jimbo, what we see. Joel, here's something I see going on in your life, and these are people who have their own words seasoned with, with salt, with grace, and they have a vision for me to be the best me I could be. I just don't want to do this alone. I love that, and that's one of the reasons why I put together this free resource that we'll put a link in the show notes. What's it like to do life with me? I love how you called them the, the people a, a personal board of directors yeah. because— I think you're right. I think I love the questions you said. Um, What am I missing? And where do you see me not being my best self? And this assessment will really help with that. Mm -hmm. Um, I thought I would read just a couple of questions from the assessment because I think those questions are going to be opportunities for healthy discussion. Um, So one of the questions is... um, So in the assessment, my friends and family know they can count on me to encourage and support them. So I'm going to answer that for myself. Then we're going to compare it to others' assessment of me. Mm -hmm. And others' assessment, someone else is saying, I know I can count on Lisa to encourage and support me. Is that true or false? And so wherever I'm marking true, but my close, trusted friends are marking false, Mm. then that's where there may be some self-deception. Let me do one more. So I'm going to assess myself and say, I'm the first to apologize, or I am quick to extend grace and understanding. Mm -hmm. But then my friend is going to assess me and say, is it true that my friend Lisa is the first to apologize? Is it true that Lisa is quick to extend grace and understanding? And if they say it's false and I'm saying it's true, that's a way to identify some self-deception. 